Hello, in this video you will learn the celebrities we lost to suicide in 2022. American entertainer Stephen Boss, known for his work as a film and TV actor, DJ, dancer, choreographer, producer, and screenwriter, passed away on December 13th, 2022. Hailing from Alabama, he initially made a name for himself in Hollywood by participating in the Star Search Talent Competition, where he achieved second place and later became a finalist on MTV's The Wade Robson Project in 2003. Subsequently, in the mid-2000s, Twitch made his screen debut in several productions, including Hairspray, Blades of Glory, Stars on Ice, The Step Up series, Bones, Ghostbusters, and American Family, appearing in a total of three dozen movies and TV series. Sarah Lee, a wrestler and the champion of season six of the reality show Tough Enough, has sadly passed away at the age of 30. Following her victory in Tough Enough in 2015, she secured a contract with WWE. However, she struggled to progress beyond NXT house shows and Florida gyms. Despite her debut on such a show in January 2016, she was released from her contract in September. Although she opted to pursue further training and trained at the renowned Team Vision Dojo School in Florida, she did not make a comeback to wrestling. South Africa mourned the loss of Ricky Rick, a prominent rapper who tragically took his own life on February 23, 2022, at the age of 34. Born Ricardo Mahado, he grew up in Kwamashu, a township established for black residents of Durban during the era of white minority rule, which persisted until Nelson Mandela's presidency in 1994. Ricky Rick gained fame in 2014 with the popular single Nafukwa. The subsequent year, he released his debut studio album titled Family Values, featuring the hit track Boss Zonka, which clearly reflected the persona he sought to emphasize. Known for blending hip-hop with Kwaido, a distinctively South African take on house music, his music captivated young audiences drawn to his dynamic style and the fashion-savvy alter ego of Boss Zonka. On January 18, 2022, Peter Robbins, the American actor renowned for voicing the character Charlie Brown in the beloved Peanuts comic book cartoons, passed away at the age of 65 tragically due to suicide. Born in 1956 in Los Angeles, he initially lent his voice to the character in the cartoons A Charlie Brown Christmas and It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown in 1963. Additionally, he made an appearance in the 1968 comedy Blondie and had guest roles in various TV series. In 1972, Robbins concluded his acting career. Naomi Judd, an accomplished American singer, songwriter, producer, screenwriter, and actress, known for her roles as Frances in Third Planet from the Sun and Liz in Touched by an Angel, passed away on April 30th, 2022, at the age of 76. Born Diane Ellen Naomi Judd in Kentucky in 1946 to a family with a cook and a gas station owner, she initially pursued nursing before achieving great success in country music. Notably, she rose to fame as part of the duo The Judds with her daughter Winona, formed in 1983. Following the disbandment of the group, she pursued a solo career. In 1979, she made her screen debut in New American Graffiti and appeared in various movies and TV series such as Flirting with the Beast, Frasier, and Almost Married. Additionally, she was the mother of actress Ashley Judd. On July 13, 2022, Mark Flashman, the former owner of Studio 54, passed away at the age of 83 through euthanasia. He breathed his last in a clinic in Switzerland. In his later years, Fleischmann battled an undisclosed neurological ailment that perplexed medical professionals. He held ownership of the iconic Studio 54 Club from 1978 to 1984, attracting notable patrons such as Mick Jagger, Michael Jackson, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, and numerous other celebrities. Following the closure of the establishment in 1986, Flashman penned a book chronicling the club, depicting it as a place where celebrities, friends, and beautiful people indulged in champagne 
and shared cocaine using rolled up $100 bills. Following a brave and enduring battle with mental illness, Lyman tragically took his own life on January 19, 2022. With nearly 30 years of experience, Lyman made significant contributions as a software engineer in the pinball industry. His expertise in software development and gameplay was informed by his extensive experience as a dedicated player and enthusiast of pinball tournaments. Many of his rule sets have shaped the foundation of modern pinball rules, reflecting his passion for watching people play and his genuine enjoyment of the games. Renowned photographer and activist Lauren Cameron, whose impactful portrayal of transgender individuals and personal journey left a lasting impression, passed away on November 18th, 2022, at his residence in Berkeley, California, at the age of 63. His sister Susan Tarleton confirmed that suicide, compounded by congestive heart failure, led to his untimely death. Cameron had distanced himself from friends and family for an extended period, and his passing went largely unnoticed at the time. The release of the book Body Alchemy brought about a significant shift in perception. At that time, capturing transgender individuals as ordinary rather than as curiosities, anomalies, or medical cases was groundbreaking and even revolutionary. Furthermore, it was exceptionally rare for the photographer to be transgender. Actress Lindsay Perlman, known for her roles in General Hospital and Chicago Justice, was discovered deceased in Los Angeles on February 18, 2022, at the age of 43. Born on October 6, 1978, in Chicago, Perlman embarked on her acting career from a young age. She has appeared in a variety of series, including Empire, Chicago Justice, Mean Pete, American Housewife, Judgment Night, General Hospital, Vicious, and others. Additionally, she has featured in commercials and showcased her comedic talent, often delving into controversial subjects in her sketches. The news of the tragic passing of Kaushalya Madhushani, a 25-year-old Sri Lankan athlete and reigning national champion in the 400-meter hurdles, has emerged from her hometown of Kuliapitiya on April 24, 2022. This talented athlete proudly represented Sri Lanka in numerous international athletics championships, securing medals at various levels, including national and junior competitions. Among her notable achievements, Madhushani claimed a silver medal in the 400-meter hurdles at the 2019 South Asian Games in Nepal and contributed to the Sri Lankan women's 400-meter relay team at the 13th South Asian Games. Additionally, she attained silver in the 400M hurdles at the 2014 Asian Junior Championships and secured bronze at the 2016 South Asian Games. Katie Meyer, age 22, was discovered deceased on the grounds of Stanford University. She was widely regarded as a highly talented soccer player. In 2019, she clinched the 2019 U.S. Women's College Women's Championship with Stanford exhibiting exceptional skill by saving two penalties in a crucial penalty shootout during the tournament finals. Despite her outwardly cheerful demeanor, Katie struggled with mental health issues stemming from excessive workload and honor student syndrome, which seemingly overwhelmed the goalkeeper. On November 21, 2022, Karim Gazeta, a footballer representing the Bosnian club Zrinski Mostar, tragically took his own life. Gazeta made the transition to the Bosnian club from Mostar in June 2022, marking the first time in his career that he played for a foreign team. The midfielder participated in just one game for Zrinski in the national championship during the current season before sustaining an injury that sidelined him. Gazeta had been recognized as one of the most promising talents in Swiss soccer in previous years, having represented the country's youth national teams. He commenced his career at Servette and also had stints with Winterthur, Lausanne, and Xamax. Kylie Posey, a 16-year-old beauty pageant contestant and reality TV star who gained initial recognition as a child for her comical facial expression that turned into a widely shared meme, has passed away in the United States. The young performer initially rose to fame on the TLC series Toddlers and Tiaras, 
a popular show that aired from 2009 to 2013, as highlighted by Page Six. Posey achieved viral fame due to a GIF image capturing her evil grin, which resonated with social media users. According to Kylie's family, she had aspirations of continuing her career in the entertainment industry and obtaining her pilot's license in the future. Kylie had commitments that involved participating in acrobatic shows on tour, along with securing a spot on her school's cheerleading team for the upcoming academic year. The renowned American singer and actress Julie Cruz passed away on June 9, 2022, at the age of 66. Julie Cruz rose to prominence through her collaboration with director David Lynch, with their initial project being the film Blue Velvet, in which Cruz performed the song Mysteries of Love. The title theme song of the TV series Twin Peaks, titled Falling, stands as the singer's most well-known piece, with music composed by Angelo Badalamenti. Cruz made appearances in several episodes of the iconic series, portraying a singer who performed at a local bar during the night. Her character, along with the entire legacy of the series, has had a lasting impact on popular culture, influencing various games, films, and TV series. For instance, the second season of True Detective partly echoed the atmosphere and other elements of Twin Peaks, including the presence of a singing performer. The heartbreaking news surfaced on February 19th, 2022, that Joey Beauchamp, a beloved figure in the history of Oxford United, tragically took his own life. A native of Oxford, Joey commenced his association with the club as a YTS trainee in 1987, having previously served as a ball boy at the 1986 Milk Cup final as part of the Summertown Stars team. His remarkable talent as a young player attracted interest from several top clubs, leading to his transfer to West Ham United for £1 million in 1994. Following this, he had a spell at Swindon Town before returning to Oxford United, where he played a pivotal role in the team's promotion in 1996. Unfortunately, a toe injury ultimately compelled his retirement from the sport after scoring his final goal for the club at the Kassam Stadium against Exeter City. On February 9, 2022, Jeremy Jombie tragically passed away at the young age of 47. He died unexpectedly at his parents' home in Southern California. Jeremy Giambi was the younger brother of renowned baseball player Jason Giambi. Despite having a less illustrious career than his famous sibling, Jeremy still managed to play at the major league level for six seasons, three of which were quite productive. The youngest of the Giambi brothers began his professional baseball journey in 1996 when the Kansas City Royals selected him in the sixth round of the draft. The left-handed hitting outfielder made his MLB debut two years later and was traded to Oakland prior to the 2000 season. This move united the Giambi brothers in the athletics lineup, with Jason already establishing himself as a star player. The renowned French director and screenwriter Jean-Luc Godard passed away on September 13, 2022, at the age of 91. Godard's debut film, In the Last Breath, released in 1960, emerged as a seminal work of the French New Wave, a highly influential movement in cinema history. Throughout his career, Goddard delved into themes such as war, the philosophy of Marxism, and endeavored to apply socialist principles to the collaborative process of filmmaking. He continuously experimented with the language of film, expressing a keen interest in new digital technologies. His second to last creation was the 3D format film, Goodbye Language. Alongside fellow filmmakers, Jean-Luc Godard pioneered a distinct film language, explored innovative visual storytelling approaches, delved into existential themes, and actively engaged in social and political spheres. Jason David Frank, known for his portrayal of Tommy Oliver in the Mighty Rangers franchise, has passed away. The actor and mixed martial arts fighter died in Texas. According to reliable sources, the actor took his own life after battling prolonged depression for over a year. With a notable presence in numerous projects, his most prominent role was that of Tommy Oliver, a long-standing character in the Mighty Rangers series. 
He initially appeared as an extra during the time of the original Morphin team, portraying the Green Ranger. Initially an adversary of the team, he later became their leader. His final project was The Legend of the White Dragon. The tragic loss of comedian and Big Mouth star Jack Knight has been confirmed as a suicide. Knight, a talented actor and writer, was found deceased on the Los Angeles waterfront with a gunshot wound at the age of 28. Recognized for his portrayal of the voice of Devin on Netflix's Big Mouth, Knight also served as a staff writer and story editor for the series across five seasons. Additionally, he made substantial contributions to other shows such as Blackish and co created Peacock's Bust Down, which premiered in March and featured prominent figures like Chris Redd, Sam Jay, and Langston Kerman. Knight's diverse credits also encompassed work on Lucas Bros Moving Co., American Dad, and an upcoming project with Chelsea Peretti titled First Time Female Director. His untimely demise has created a void in the comedy community, and he will be deeply missed. Henry Berg Brousseau, a staunch advocate for transgender rights and a source of inspiration for those opposed to restrictive laws in Kentucky, passed away on December 16, 2022, at the age of 24. Originally from Arlington, Virginia, Berg Brousseau served as the Deputy Press Secretary for Politics at the Human Rights Campaign, a leading LGBTQ plus advocacy organization in the United States. His compelling testimony against an anti-transgender bathroom bill in Kentucky at the age of 16 gained widespread attention, earning praise from Republican state legislators for his courage and eloquence. Despite this, the legislation was ultimately advanced, a development highlighted by John Oliver in a 2015 segment on transgender rights that featured Berg Brousseau's testimony. Renowned motorcycle rider and stuntman Chris Pfeiffer has sadly passed away at the age of 51. Pfeiffer achieved victory in the esteemed enduro motorcycle race Erzberg Rodeo four times and held multiple Guinness World Records, including an impressive feat of jumping over 33 individuals lying on the ground without the use of a springboard. He retired from motorcycle freestyle in 2015 after an illustrious career, during which he also worked as a stuntman and collaborated with Hollywood actor Tom Cruise. A pioneer in modern stunt riding, Pfeiffer commenced his sporting journey in motocross, where he secured the title of German Youth Champion in 1985. Subsequently, he expanded his expertise to include trials and enduro, all the while honing his skills for performing various motorcycle stunts. Chesley Christ, who was crowned Miss USA 2019, tragically passed away after falling from a window of a 60-story building in New York City at the age of 30. Reports indicate that she fell from a window of the 60-story Orion building in Midtown Manhattan on the morning of January 30th. Although she resided on the ninth floor, she was last seen on a terrace on the 29th floor. Born in Michigan in 1991, Chesley Chris pursued a career as a lawyer and subsequently worked as an attorney and television host. In October 2019, she disclosed her ongoing psychotherapy during a World Mental Health Day event. British actor George Ward, known for their portrayal of Cherry Valentine, passed away at the age of 28. The family of the star from the second season of RuPaul's Drag Race UK confirmed the news to the media. Officials have determined Ward's death, who appeared as Cherry Valentine on BBC's RuPaul's Drag Race UK, as a suicide. Born in Darlington in the northeast of England, Ward was featured in six episodes of the show's second season in 2020, during which they introduced Cherry Valentine to the audience.